Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna react to The Decline of Subway. It's been a minute since we uh reacted to the this channel right here, the company man. It's been a minute since we reacted to him. Um Amir in the stream called me out about the Chick-fil-A video and he immediately reminded me that I haven't reacted to this dude's channel in quite some time now. So without further ado, man, we're going to react to it. The decline of Subway. What happened? This was definitely the last video I had him in my watch list to watch. But um, I just never got around to it. Shit started changing. But yeah, man, without further ado, let's get right into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Subway is among the most ubiquitous restaurants that the world has ever seen. Statistically, most of the people watching this are only minutes away from one of them right now. Not Just me. Think about that. If you had a sudden craving for Not a classic me. Italian BMT or buffalo chicken, that's my personal favorite, I'll bet that most of you no could be standing sir. inside of a Subway Not having me. them custom make it for you by the time this video is over. I say that because ever since 2002, there have been more Subways in the United States than any other fast food restaurant, holding a distant lead ahead of these massive fast food brands like Starbucks and McDonald's. And maybe the craziest thing is that 20,000 locations is actually down quite a bit from where they used to be because Subway has not been doing well. In 2016, they closed why. more restaurants than they opened for I the first time why, in their history. And ever since, their store I count has why. decreased by an average of almost 1,000 every year. That is obviously a bad sign. They have been losing customers, struggling with their reputation, and in response, making major changes to try and reverse everything that has been happening. There has been a lot happening with Subway, so in this video, I want to talk about- Subway know what they need to do. Subway know what they need to do. They just refuse to do it because they're just like every other company right now. Oh, we got to raise the prices. Nah, nigga. Bring back the $5 foot long, nigga. Pause, 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 pause. 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 <laughs> Pause. Pause. Hey yo, 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 hey yo. Pause. But bring back the five dollar foot long, man. Do y'all not know that y'all got us? It's crazy how in the last recession, shit actually was cheap. Little Caesars had five dollar pizzas. Subway had five dollar foot longs. McDonald's still had a dollar menu. Dollar Tree was still a dollar. If you hear something in the background, it's thunderstorming. It was recently a tornado that came through here. I got so man. Fuck my coworker. I just want to say that for the record. Fuck my coworker. But um. Um, Subway know what they need to do, man. Just bring back the five dollar foot loans, man. Make your food affordable. What is so hard about making food affordable? Why does food have to go up? Why are they charging us so much for food? Why are they making so many laws for us to grow our own food? Why we can't grow our own food? Why we? Why you gotta put laws in place? Nah, you gotta do this. You gotta do that. I can. You can't just nigga. It's my property. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do on my property. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. You got this. You got that. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, we gonna have to. Uh, we gonna have to. Uh, we gonna have to see about that, bro. You can't even fish. You can't even fish. You gotta have a license to fish. Come on, dog. They charging you to fit. They taxing you to fish. They're taxing you to eat on your own. You're going to go get your own food. You're not depending on the government or the big businesses or the supermarkets to 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 to, to, to supply you with food. You're doing it on your own, and yet they taxing you for it. That's crazy. That's stupid. Use your brain. Come on, man. That's stupid. Why would they do this shit? Come on, man. Come on, man. 
Come on now, dog. Come on, man. A nigga just trying to go get a sandwich real quick. Why my sandwich got to be damn near $20? Why am I paying $20 for one fucking sandwich, Subway? Come on, man. Y'all used to be a nigga go-to, man, when a nigga ain't had nothing, man. Y'all you you, you y'all used to be a, what a nigga could go to, man, because there's so many subways all over the place. You know what I'm saying? McDonald's might be too far away. You know that, and you know that drive through going to be packed during lunchtime, so McDonald's is not even an option right now. But that subway, that subway, now, on a good day, that subway could be packed. So it may not be a good idea to go in there. But for a majority of the week, she nigga, you be in that subway on your lunch break. You got 30 minutes. You got 30 minutes to get you something to eat. Nigga, go to subway. Nigga, fuck it. You could go on the app now. You can do your you can do your shit like 20 minutes in advance. 20, 30 minutes in advance. Go in the subway that's right down the street from your job. Get your food. Come back. Be like. Like damn, you already eating? I was waiting all over. I was waiting all at that long ass line at McDonald's. I was like, I told you, y'all should have just went to Subway and got and ordered y'all shit off Subway. But nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, just bring back the five dollar foot long, bro. That's all I'm trying to say. Just bring it back, man. How they grew so large, where things went wrong, and some of the efforts that they made to turn things around. I'm just gonna jump right into it and say that the main reason that Subway was able to grow so large is because of the simplicity behind it. I'm talking about the restaurant itself because there's simply not much to it. Unlike most other fast food restaurants, you are not going to find broilers or fryers or grease traps. Less equipment means lower cost and less space needed for that equipment, and that is a huge advantage. It goes all the way back to the very beginning when the first one opened in 1965 by a 17 year old looking to raise money for his college tuition. Fred DeLuca wanted to become a doctor which is an expensive process and his summer job at a local hardware store was not bringing in the money that he needed to make it happen. He had a family friend named Peter Buck who worked as a nuclear engineer. Together they came up with an idea of opening a simple sandwich shop to raise the money. All it took was a $1,000 investment from Peter Buck to get things started and they partnered together to open Pete's Super Submarines in Bridgeport, Connecticut. They incorporated their company as Doctors Associates, named after the fact that DeLuca wanted to become a medical doctor and Buck already possessed a doctorate in physics, so it was kind of an appropriate name. But when they started running radio commercials, their customers started getting confused because the name Pete's Submarines was being misheard as Pizza Marines. That is when they changed the name to Subway to avoid confusion. DeLuca did earn enough money to go to college, by the way, where he ended up earning a degree in psychology instead, but clearly the business went well beyond that. After nine years, they had expanded to 16 locations, which was still falling short of their goal of reaching 32 of them by the end of the first decade, so to speed things up, they started a franchising program where other people were basically permitted to open their own Subway restaurants, but paying the company for the rights to do it. And again, the simplicity of the business worked to their advantage. Historically, it has been a comparatively lower investment to open a Subway franchise, smaller spaces, less equipment equipment, so it has attracted a lot of people wanting to do it. And since all you really need from a location is water and electricity, they have been able to squeeze into so many unconventional areas, like movie theaters, or gas stations, or hospitals. That's the short answer of how they were able to become the most franchised restaurant of all time, but they have also found success through emphasizing freshness, value, and health. Three things that are probably smart for almost any restaurant to promote, but Subway has done a really good job at it. For freshness, they offer for all of those freshly cut vegetables right in front of you that you can select from See, to put onto your sandwich. See, vegetables ain't fresh. Also, that lettuce be dirty as hell. They started baking their dough at the restaurants, which is pretty <laughs> uncommon in the fast food industry, especially back then. Plus, as a and and they bread is questionable too. There's been rumors that uh, Subway bread is uh, shoe foam. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, there's a rumor that. Uh, Subway bread is shoe foam. I just, I just want y'all, I just want y'all to be aware. You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to be aware. Y'all might be eating shoe foam, so you gotta be careful. Don't be eating Subway like that. Might be eating shoe foam and shit. Then your insides be all fucked up.
As a bonus, the smell of the bread has drawn in a lot of customers. And just the word, fresh, they love using that word. It's in their famous slogan, eat fresh. And I'm just saying, if you find yourself at a subway, look around at the menu, the wrappers, the napkins, and everything else, and count how many times you can find that word printed somewhere. For value, they have always tried to offer competitive prices going back to the first day of operations. Not we anymore. 300 sandwiches, averaging between 49 cents and 69 Shit. cents each. But the most famous example it would be their five. $5 foot long promotion. I remember when they started offering that. They had this catchy jingle on the commercials. I would walk around singing that song to myself constantly because I could not get it out of my head. And I apologize if that is the case for you right now. But man, that was a huge campaign and the timing of it was perfect because they started doing it in early 2008, only months before the big stock market. See, I just said, I just said, I just said, I just said, when the first recession happened in 2008, 2009, 2007, whatever the fuck it started. All these companies were making their food affordable. I don't know what the fuck is going on now, but it's got on my fucking nerves. Come on, man. Dollar Tree ain't a dollar no more. You can't get a cheeseburger from McDonald's for a dollar. You can't get a foot long from Subway for five dollars? Pause. You can't get a five dollar pizza from Little Caesars no more? Man, Little Caesars used to get you through it, man. Little Caesars, uh, 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 Taco Bell. Taco Bell had a whole party pack of fucking soft shell and hard shell tacos for ten bucks. Get 10 tacos in a box for 10 bucks. Shit used to be so simple, man. What the fuck done happened, dog? Come on, man. They used to look out for us, man. These companies used to look out for us. Now, they scumbags. They scumbags just like everybody else. They don't care about the customer no more. Fuck the customer. Buy our food and shut the fuck up. Why are you charging $20 for a whole fucking sandwich now? McDonald's ain't even cheap no more, bruh. You got to go on the app and try to get a deal, bro, before you even go into a McDonald's. Then, fucking, uh, man, Little Caesars, man. Little Caesars can go to hell. I ain't, I ain't touched Little Caesars in a minute. Ain't nobody finna pay that. You, you basically charge, because basically you charging the same price as Domino's charge, nigga. The fuck? I'm better off just going to Domino's. At least I'm going to get a better pizza. The fuck? Come on, Little Caesars. Y'all know y'all the shittiest pizza in the whole fucking, out of all the pizza chains. Y'all know y'all the worst one. Y'all know y'all the worst one. So why would you go up in price? What happened to the $5 pizzas, man? Bring them shits back, dog. For real, man. Fuck five, man. Fuck uh, Little Caesars. Y'all the worst. Y'all the worst piece of chain out of everybody. Why are you going up in price? A crash and everything associated with that, so it was a perfect time to start promoting the value of their food. And finally, for health, all of those vegetables and foresaid idea that has been promoted by countless athletes over the years, notably Michael Strahan, Michael Phelps, Blake Griffin, and Happy Gilmore. This fresh, delicious, tasty, meaty, turkey-filled, cold-cut combo. But easily, the most successful way they have promoted the health of their sandwiches was with Jared Fogle. He was a college student that lost 245 pounds by eating Please don't bring up twice Jared. a day. The college newspaper wrote an article about it. So don't bring up Jared. Please don't bring up Jared. Don't bring up Jared. Get Jared the fuck up out of here. We do not need to bring, we do not need to talk about Jared.
Come on, man. Please don't bring bring Jared up. It's a, Jared got to go, man. We can't talk. Hey, listen, man. If there's one person we can erase from the history of a company, it's Jared. We can do without Jared for this video, bro. Why is it every time Subway get brought up, we got to bring Jared into it? Don't nobody want to hear about that weird ass nigga. Subway learned about the story and he quickly became a spokesperson for them. I mean, this guy became an unlikely sensation. God People damn were pedophile. Him a Subway guy. He was featured in over 300 commercials over a 15 year span, many of which showed him holding up his pair of 60 inch pants that he used to wear before he lost the weight. He was at the center of a South Park episode, and their chief marketing officer has said that he attributes as much as half of their growth over that time to that campaign. So, yeah, freshness, value, and health. That's what Subway wants you to associate with them. And in my opinion, they have done a really good job in doing that over the years. But as I showed earlier, things have taken a turn for the worse. So this video is about to get much more depressing as I outline what I believe to be five of the biggest reasons behind that trouble. First off, I think that they were opening- Five dollar foot longs no longer exist. That should be number one. In too many locations. It turns that out that 27,000 of them across the But that the could United be a States. good- But see, this could be a good thing though, especially when- McDonald's is too far away. You're not close to a McDonald's, but it's a subway down the street. That's kind of decent, though, especially when you just got paid. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no car or nothing like that. You're probably having car troubles. You know what I'm saying? But you hungry, though. You, you know what I'm saying? You want to get your grub on, but you don't feel like going to the chicken spot because you tired of eating chicken every fucking night. So you want you to get you something a little different so you can get you some subway. It may have been a little much. As we all learned from Jurassic Park, just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean that you should do it. There are Subway restaurants out there competing with other Subway restaurants. Countless examples where one location is taking sales away from a different location because they're all just so close to each other. I think it's interesting that the original Subway, that first building named after Pete, wasn't even doing very well. Fred DeLuca has said that he opened the second one to create the image of success. You know, if you're growing and opening new restaurants, people get familiar with the name and figure it must be good because people are going there. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think he has kept that mentality with JJ's. the brand as he continued to expand it to like, ridiculous fuck is a JJ's? levels in the Then you start seeing decades. one on every corner. When someone like, mm, says that Subway must be good. is the biggest fast food restaurant in the country, I think that could be a little deceptive. They do have more locations, but that doesn't mean that more people are eating there. When you measure by system-wide sales, which I think is the more appropriate measure, McDonald's and Starbucks and five others are in fact bigger than Subway. And that is because Subway's sales per location are abnormally low. For example, Chick-fil-A only has one-seventh as many locations, but twice as many sales. Now, Chick-fil-A is the leader of the industry and maybe not the most fair comparison, but even compared to other similar sandwich chains, Subway is noticeably lower. All of this suggests that Subway has been more interested in having a lot of locations rather than having good efficient, profitable locations. My next reason behind their decline is the passing of Fred DeLuca. Now, this might sound contradictory to my previous reason in some way, but I want to be clear that even though his approach toward running Subway may not have been the safest or even the smartest in some aspects, he is still the main person behind Subway. Easily one of the biggest success stories of all time. As a teenager, he took $1,000 and over the next 50 years it became a billionaire with it. He was known to be heavily involved with the company, sometimes even going into a restaurant wearing a disguise so he can sample the food and check up on things at the store level. In 2013, he was diagnosed with leukemia, and by 2015, control of the day-to-day -day operations was passed to his sister shortly before he passed away. It was a distracting R. time R. over at Subway, to say the least, where the management wasn't exactly on top of their game, and following that situation, the person who knew the company and arguably cared about it more than anyone else was no longer there to guide. It. I think it is worth pointing out that the correlation is there. Subway sales started falling in 2015 right after he died. Next up on the list is disastrous campaigns. It's unfortunate, but both of their biggest ad campaigns, Jared Fogle and the $5 Footlong, turned into complete disasters. For Jared, it's upsetting to even talk much about this one, but I'm guessing you already know that he is far from the inspirational role model that many people once saw him as. I'm just gonna say that in 2015, 
notice that year yet again, he was sentenced to 15 years in prison for crimes involving minors. Now, it's not quite as severe with the $5 footlongs, I mean, I would sure hope not, uh, but that one also turned sour. After about four or five years, they almost had to start phasing it out because it was becoming impractical to maintain that price point. Then, after things started falling in 2018, I think that they were getting desperate because they tried to force it back in a slightly different way as the $4.99 footlong. As they should have kept it that way. couldn't afford to do it, and the franchisees got upset with the company over it, so it hurt the relationships there, and they were left without any of their proven campaigns to fall back on. Another reason behind the decline is a series of various scandals, and I want to be clear that from my viewpoint anyway, there's hardly any validity to any of these, but for whatever reason, every few years, there are these wild accusations being reported about the food over at Subway. For example, in 2013, a photo posted by a teenager in Australia had everyone talking about how Subway's footlongs are only 11 inches. In 2017, the new thing was that their chicken was only made of 50% chicken. In 2021, the new new thing was that their tuna isn't actually tuna. Again, these are seemingly erroneous or exaggerated stories that I would say unfairly have been hurting Subway's reputation. People hear about a story like that and start going to Jimmy John's or one of the others so you can see how this can hurt them. Finally, I'm just gonna say that the brand has become stale. In 2019, as an attempt to breathe new life into it and reverse the trends, they hired a new CEO, John Chidzi, who had previously led a turnaround plan over at Burger King. When he arrived at Subway, he was the one who used the word stale to describe their menu. It had been mostly unchanged for many years, partially because of the illness of Frank DeLuca and all the craziness surrounding that. So in July of 2021, they started their, I think cleverly named, Eat Fresh Refresh that they call the largest menu update in Subway history. It includes new sandwiches, new ingredients, sort of a shift more towards standardized sandwiches but rather the than the prices too much. And it has been promoted by some of the most famous athletes like Steph Curry and Tom Brady. They invested $80 million to Barkley. buy meat slicers for the restaurants. It used to be pre-sliced before it got to the restaurants and now they do it there. They call that one one of the most complex changes the brand has ever made. They've been making efforts to attract better talent at the corporate level by offering equity compensation plans and bonuses for the first time. In 2023, they were sold to a private equity firm called Rourke Capital, who also owns Jimmy John's, among many other fast food restaurants. It ended their longtime run as being a family-owned business, and they say it is yet another part of their transformation journey, as they put it. So big changes have been happening over at Subway. If you haven't been there for a while, you might be shocked at how different things are, and it seems likely that they may continue to progress. And there have been some positive indicators, like the fact that their sales per location have been improving. So I don't know, maybe Subway is on their way to becoming a much more stable and efficient operation. What do you think about Subway? How do they compare to the competing sandwich shops, and what has been your perception of them over the years? Did you stop eating there at some point, or have you returned? Maybe you never liked them. Maybe you're more of a Shooter McGavin fan. And do you agree with my list of the reasons behind their trouble? As always, it's not a complete list, but I do stand behind it as a good summary of the trouble that they've been having. Let me know if you think anything should be added or subtracted from it. And finally, what is your order when you go to Subway? I almost always go with that buffalo chicken, so have I been overlooking something? What should I get next time I go there? Thank you for watching. I mean, it is what it is, though, man. Between the Jared thing, I, I, I really don't. I was still. They should have stuck with that five dollar foot long. I don't even fuck what them franchisees got mad about. I don't care about them franchisees. It, think about the customer. Think about the customer. Think about our wallets. Think about what we going through. Why is a sub from Subway damn near twenty dollars? I'm just trying to figure that out. You order a foot long, motherfucker is ten dollars. But if you want them, them new ones, the ones that Steph Curry and Charles Barkley and them be promoting, that shit damn near twenty dollars. Like yo, I don't want. I'm not finna pay y'all this money for a fucking sub. And I can go to other places and get it for cheaper. That's really why the other places are winning right now. Because they selling them for cheaper. Or I can go to a fucking Kroger and give me a big ass hoagie for like six bucks. And take that to work. And be munching on that for like three days straight.
So I mean, I'm I'm saying though, like, what what are we talking about? They should have stuck with the five dollar foot long. I stand on that. Uh, Jared can go to hell. Um, RIP to the CEO of Subway. And uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm gonna leave it at for right now. But yeah, man, that's just gonna about do it for this one, man. I will see you on the next video. Tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'll get back to you till then. Peace out.